I would say the biggest problem with BSG is that we produce incredibly large volumes of it. It's very thick, stodgy. It's a live product. It's full of microorganisms. It starts spoiling almost immediately. Um, it's very difficult to pasteurize or to try and sterilize because it's not pipe flowable. It's very, very difficult to work with. And hence the fact that by and large, the bulk of BSG produced worldwide goes into animal feed products. With a DCD process, we are able to treat the product through the disruptor. It comes out aseptic sterile. Um, it's immediately food grade, human grade. So what that means is that a, a disrupted and dry BSG material um, lends itself to a multitude of industries. Uh, you can make it as a flour, you can do it as a, an ingredient for a keto, low carb, diabetic friendly biscuits, for breads, for pizza bases, for wraps. It lends itself very, very well to uh, baby food as a, an ingredient into either a wet baby food or a dry baby food, a, a baby food uh, instant porridge. Um, it lends itself very, very well to protein shakes, smoothies, um, breads biscuits, any type of baked goods, any type of flour, um, pretty much any type of food you could use it into porridges. It really is just an incredibly versatile product once it's been disrupted um, and micronized because you can use it everywhere. It also lends itself very, very easily to be dried because disrupted material is incredibly pipe flowable. Um, and can very easily be either put into a spray dryer or into some type of a, a drying mechanism to then dry it into a, a powder. So by disrupting the BSG, you are creating a food grade waste or a food grade byproduct, which means that you have the versatility of feeding it to everybody, to animals, to humans, to plants, to mother earth. Um, and, and that means that you can literally valorize and use the entire waste stream of BSG for everybody. So it, it, by disrupting it, you make the product way more flexible and way more versatile to use in all aspects of a, a, a food application. But for me, the, the, probably the biggest aspect is the fact that the, the fiber, everything that is soluble fiber is now readily available for the body to use. All the insoluble fibers are now so fine and so homogeneously spread throughout the product that the gut health benefits um, are absolutely phenomenal. Um, and all of the protein is digestible and bioavailable. Um, so, you know, by, by disrupting and drying a BSG product into a food grade ingredient, you are actually creating a superfood from a waste stream. As it comes out of the, the brewing food process, it can literally fall straight down into a pre-processing uh, micronizer to put it into the disruptor. Um, it can go into the disruptor, explodes out of the disruptor um, at exactly the correct temperatures um, to make the product aseptic sterile. Um, and it, from the disruptor, it can go straight into a drying mechanism to, to dry the powder. So with, with not a lot of logistics involved, the BSG can be disrupted, micronized, aseptically produced and packed on site at a brewery and then transported anywhere in the world for drying and for further uh, uh, processing. The benefit of disrupting the BSG, um, we completely expose 99.999998% of all of the protein to um, the atmosphere or to, to, to be opened. Um, and by disrupting the material with a protolytic enzyme, um, one can actually denature and remove and break down all glutens effectively rendering the bsg gluten free as well it lends itself very very well to diabetic uh, food applications uh, blood sugar control applications the actual interesting phenomenon is that by disrupting the raw material for the beer making process up front uh, there's no there's no cooking required there's no boiling requirement uh, the starches are 99.99998 extracted, gelatinized, immediately ready for uh, enzymes to break down uh, to, to sugars. So, uh, you know, in, in, in theory, what, what could happen is that a brewery could, with the same equipment, 
with a, the addition of disruptor technology, with the same pots, with the same vats, with the same tanks, could potentially increase the amount of beer production per day. That entire process is done in literally milliseconds within the disruptor system as a byproduct of this incredible explosion and disruption of the, the raw material, um, which means brewing is quicker, easier, higher yield, and the byproduct is a immediate food grade human byproduct with a multitude of applications.